everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine, hunty, you can go ahead and get at because this reading right now is not for you. All right, let us go ahead, you all, and jump right into the reading. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you on today. Please do keep in mind, you all, that these are general readings, so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. All right, thank you, thank you. Let us go ahead and see what the messages are. Our divine feminines. All right. We have water element sensing. We have Mars force. We have Ninth House Faith. We have Fifth House Creativity. Mm. Uranus Genius. Something's going to come as a surprise. Ooh, or as a shock to you. Do you see, guys? Every time that happens, don't I say that's an omen? Prime example. As soon as I say it, look at what happens. We have... 11th house friends, first house the body. Hmm. So far we have a few houses, okay? Quite a few. Let's see, we're going to lay them out and then read them. As I am guided to do every time I use these cards. <laughs> Only difference is this time I'm doing it on camera with you all. Instead of pulling them and studying, they're after. We have Mercury Retrograde. Ooh, Leo. Okay. Finally have a sign here, guys. Okay. I know y'all been waiting on one. Been, oh, Sagittarius as well. I just saw that. Okay. And Saturn Return. Okay. On the line of energy. Grand Trine. I say Grand Rising. <laughs> Grand Trine. Blessings. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I'm getting here, feminine, with this water element sensing, we're talking about our emotions. All right. The way it is that you feel, the way it is that your person feels. Okay. Uh, your intuition. Right now, there's a lot of telepathic communication going on between you and this person. We have Mars. Okay. Force. Mars deals with our fighting spirit, our determination, okay? So I feel this energy here where your person wants to show you how determined they are to be with you or how determined they are to make something right with you, okay? The fifth house, excuse me, the ninth house, okay, which is about faith, okay? Also, you know, um, travel, broadening and expanding your horizons, learning new things, okay? So... It's like the third house in an expanded way, okay? So the third house is our communication and travel and where we learn things, our neighborhood. So in this essence, it's, you know, traveling the world, not just traveling your neighborhood in, in a local way, no, but, you know, getting to know more than what you're used to, stepping outside of your culture, you know, and your familiar background and upbringing and things like that, okay? Then we go into the fifth house, creativity, okay? So we're already seeing some similarities because if you go the last reading, the reading before that one, you'll see where spirit's been taking it because there was a card where there was partnerships and alliances and I said either there was cultural differences or the two of you just had some sort of religious difference or there was something like that when it comes to your upbringing and, you know, your fourth house. I'm surprised that's not here. Okay. Your upbringing. But we have the fifth house creativity. Okay. You or your person, very creative. Very creative. Okay. Fifth house also deals with romance and pleasure and the things that excite us. Okay. And <laughs> turn us on, if you will. All right. The arts. 
you and your person or you or your person may be artists. Okay. We have Uranus, genius, very, very intelligent. Okay. Very intelligent, um, ahead of the time. You know what I mean? Like somebody could be way, way, way ahead of their time. You or your person. Okay. Probably both of y'all because twins mirror each other. Okay. I also feel with that Uranus energy, it's just shocking events, sudden events. All right. Things that are meant to shake us up, awaken us, enlighten us. Okay. You or your person could be going through a rebirth. So due to the feelings and emotions that your person has for you or that you've invoked within your person, that you've stirred up, woken up, whatever you want to call it within your person, it now has them utilizing that fighting spirit, you know, to learn more, to expand beyond their comfort zones and what it is that is familiar to them. Okay. Again, genius person is realizing you may be a genius. Okay. Or you may feel like that about them. Okay. Um, is what I'm hearing. So that may be very specific for somebody, but that's how they're feeling. Okay. It's the way that you choose to move with something or, or all things. Okay. That this person admires and vice versa is what it feels like. But again, I feel this is something suddenly happening out of nowhere. Okay. Catching you totally off guard by surprise. This could overall be you catching your person off guard by surprise. They weren't expecting to meet a person like you. They didn't think people like you existed. Okay, again, this is them stepping outside of their comfort zone. We have 11th house friends, okay? Yeah, friends, wishes, you know, good luck, things like that, okay? This person feels very fortunate, blessed to have you. That's what I'm getting also from this grand trine, all right? This person feels very fortunate and blessed to have you, okay? They feel like this is something that they manifested with their feelings, you know? They could have been a person who always grew up feeling like the black sheep, you know, just so different from everybody around them, but having to fit in with what was around them because that's all they knew to, you know, exist. The first house, the body is what you show others and how you represent yourself in society, like what people see you as, right? So this person, they could have been trying to, um, uphold some sort of image that they've been portraying for however long, you know, just to be able to fit in with someone or just to be able to fit in with everyone around them, their family, the community, whatever, just to, you know, be comfortable, right? They wanted to be comfortable. They deserved that. That's what they thought was the right thing to do. Until, of course, it gets to this Mercury retrograde energy, which mentions reinvention. So when we're speaking of reinvention, something could have already existed, but we go in and we tweak it or we edit something, we readjust, we do whatever is necessary to make it better, to enhance it, right? Whatever it is to enhance performance, to enhance uh, flexibility, durability, whatever it is, okay? but to enhance it in some way, to make it better. So this person feels like with the things that they are learning now about themselves or the things that they have learned about spirituality and um, whatever they're being educated about with this ninth house energy right now, okay? It's going into them reinventing themselves, okay? So you may have known this person to be really shy, really reserved, really standoffish, you know, not really speaking up on what it is that they feel when they feel it, but that's going to change. This person is going to start being very courageous, very bold with the Leo I will. Leo rules the will. Okay, Leo is ruled by the sun. So of course God rules the will. God wrote the will, but I'm saying Leo is the sun. Leo, you know, as far as astrology goes, okay? So Leo rules the will in terms of astrology, okay? So this person is going to utilize some of that. Yes, you know, if I am the co-creator, God is the creator. I'm co-creator with spirit, okay? Working along with spirit. In what way have I been standing in my own way or in what way have I been helping myself? This is what this person is paying close attention to. Now, this could have been something that started to take place around the last Mercury retrograde, okay? which wasn't that long ago, all right? So this person being in that energy of 
paying attention to themselves and how it is that they come off to others, especially you. You know, what is the impression that they're leaving? And has it been a good one? Especially for someone that they feel so um, emotionally, spiritually, and energetically connected to. Have they left a good impression on you? You know? So with Saturn return age, you know, Saturn return is, is wisdom, right? It's us having gone through lessons because Saturn teaches tough lessons. The things that you go through in life and, you know, some people say, um, what is it? What was me? We're like, oh, if it's not this, if it's not that, it's something else. Okay, listen, that's just life. There's always going to be good and there's always going to be not so good. It's, you know, up to you to pick and choose what you want to focus your attention on on an everyday basis. That's up to you. But every single day is going to have a little bit of both in it. You get what I'm saying? So... It's up to you to pick and choose how you deal with those things and how you react, how you respond, how you allow them to affect your spirit and your heart. Because, yeah, they're going to happen, but do you have to allow it to change you? Do you have to allow it to change who and how you are? Because we are, again, in this world, but we do not have to be of it. We are not here to please one another. I'm telling you guys, I love y'all and I appreciate all the support that you show me and have shown me over the years will continue to show me. But I'm not here to please y'all and y'all not here to please me. We are here to please God. That's it. So, so as long as God is pleased, you know, everything else is going to fall into place and be taken care of each and every time. So, again, that could have also been something that your person just didn't believe. They didn't have that faith. They didn't have hope. They didn't, you know... Think that um, manifestation, miracles, blessings, stuff like that was real. It just felt like life be life in, you know, and that's true. Life do be life in, but it's about how you look at it. It's about how you perceive and receive it. Because it's going to have life happens to everybody. But what are you going to do about it? How are you going to allow yourself to feel about it? That's what makes the difference. So that Saturn return is that wisdom and everything that comes with it, right? So again, it's, it's this person having learned a very valuable lesson and however long you guys have been dealing with each other, whatever the case may be, them get into a place where they say, okay, I'm ready. I see it for what it is now. I get it. For others of you, you know, it may take them a while. They may still have to go through some tower moments before they realize the blessing of the connection. But, you know, it's already starting to happen for most of you. Again, with that Mercury retrograde reinvention, anytime Mercury retrograde happens, it's an opportunity for us to pay, to pay closer attention to the details. Okay, so details, details, details. All right. Now, what I always say with this 11th house, friends, speaking of details, let's look at the details of this card. It says friends, but does it really look like friends or does it look like more than friends? You tell me what's going on here in this friends card. Okay. So, <laughs> so again... Yeah, transformation. Somebody is going through a change with that Pluto energy there. We have water element, okay? Again, your intuition, your emotions, okay? Psychic abilities, etc. okay? Grand trine, bless. Don't that look similar? So it's like because of the way that you feel, you're bringing these things in. You're bringing these things in here for yourself, okay? That's what Spirit is saying. Let us continue. I don't want to use that one yet. <clears throat> Your person is realizing some things. Yeah, we have intuition and we have solitude. All right, spending a lot of time in hermit mode. Throat chakra here, okay. Awareness, this person is gonna be speaking some truth. Again, very bold, very courageous energy, okay, that they're in right now. All right, Mars, they're like, charge. Okay, I'm going towards my feminine. I'm gonna let you know how I feel. Yeah, authority, okay. I'm stepping into my authoritative energy. Okay, this person cares about how you view them. They care about how you see them. Okay, yeah, authority. Okay, they want you to know they're serious about you. Intuition, you can trust what you feel. Passion ignited. You feel that passion? That's what they just said. You feel that passion? Yeah, you could trust that. Okay. You can trust it. We have Mars Force, okay? Masculine energy again. Okay, that's Aries ruler right there. Then we got... The Emperor energy, which is also Aries energy, okay? So Aries coming through, big Aries energy, okay? 
fertility, the empress, okay? Big Taurus energy here, all right? So, yeah, you see what I'm saying? They're determined, determined to have this brand new beginning with their empress. Look at, I'm not even in the mood to be playing right now. <laughs> to be playing right now, okay? They said they want this brand new beginning with their empress, okay? Fertility, something new being birthed, okay? Yeah, spiritual union being birthed, that's what it is. Person wants to move forward. You've been waiting for this? Mm-hmm. Look at this alarm. <laughs> Every time I say something about you've been waiting for this or it's time or they know or something, child, that alarm be alarming right on time, child. That's what I'm getting. People are like, when is divine timing? On time. <laughs> on time, child. That's what divine timing is, okay? Actually, I was channeling that song earlier, okay? I was literally channeling that song. Um, ja Rule. I'm not always there when you call, but I'm always on time, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I was channeling that. We have fulfillment of wishes, okay? Somebody feels like they're not always there when you call, but they're always on time, okay? What they have to give, they are giving, so be theirs. They want you to be theirs is what I'm getting. We have emotional withdrawal here, okay? Again, I feel like this person has started going on a spiritual quest, a spiritual journey, okay? Yeah, be patient. This person is going to display, like I said, willpower. They're going to be courageous and bold. This is um, the strength card. Strength card is Leo energy. Okay. Balance. Libra. Okay. Magician. Virgo. Okay. Just calling out the signs as I see them. All right. But yeah, this person feels that like you're their heart's desires. You're everything that they've ever wanted in a companion, a friend, a lover. Okay. That's how you feel as well, huh, feminine? We have triumphant success, okay? Yes, that's how you feel as well. There is open and honest communication that's going to happen between the twins about this. You both feel the same way. Yeah, we have partnerships and alliances. This person would rather work with you than for the two of you to be at odds. They would rather be on one accord with you. Than, like I said, didn't I mention the partnerships and alliances? I did, didn't I? I surely did. Okay, yeah, this person, they would rather work with you than to be at odds. Yeah, we may have differences. Yeah, we may not always see eye to eye, but we can get familiar with each other's differences. We can respect each other's differences. Okay? We can learn. We can expand. We don't have to be the same. Okay, yeah, so again, hermit energy, solitude. Okay, wisdom comes from what? The pages. Somebody's reading. Somebody's studying. Somebody's doing a lot of reading and studying, whether it be the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, etc. All right. Tablets, honey. Somebody's reading and studying. Okay. They're expanding when it comes to, like I said, their faith. Yeah. Positive movement forward. So now there's going to be, you know, movement in the connection. Because here's the thing when it comes to religion, right? Or spirituality, you can't force somebody or anybody to believe the way that you believe, right? But What's really important and significant is for each of us to have something that we connect to in some way, have some faith in some way, have some hope in some way, believe in love. That's what's most important. It doesn't matter how you're doing it, do it. You understand? So I feel like that's what this reading is about. You have inspired your person to go down some sort of path of closeness to God. Doesn't matter in which way they choose to do it. They are doing it. You know, we have passion ignited. Okay, so again, you can trust that passion that you're feeling. This person is going through something. Okay, they're going through something inside. And for a minute, maybe they didn't know they could trust it. You know, they didn't understand it. Okay. Yeah, we have the truth. But shoot, you know, that's what it is. Judgment, their discernment. You have to understand that. In this world, y'all, okay, and I know a lot of you can understand this, but this is for those of you who may just not have ever thought about it like this. In this world, right, <clears throat> there are not that many people who hmm, genuinely mean what it is that they say, okay, unfortunately. So when you run across somebody that is genuine, that is sincere, that is for real. Oh, my God. My heart feels like it's shattering in a million pieces. So I don't know who feels like this. Okay. But 
when you run across somebody that is true, that is genuine, that is sincere, you may not believe that because there's really nobody like that nowadays, to be honest. You look around, look at what everybody's doing. Okay? And so it's not to say every single person, but shoot, the vast majority, honey. And this is why solitude, you know, the chosen ones are usually to themselves. They don't resonate with the things that other people are doing. You know, if you've ever been considered like the black sheep, the old soul, people call you grandma, granddad, different things like that. It's because of that. You're ahead of the time. That's what I said earlier, right? You are ahead of your time. You're from a different time or you've been here before. Elders always said that to you, different things like that. Yeah, you don't move how everybody moves. You get, you know, hurt. Because of certain things, people look at you like you're naive. You're not naive. It's just that you continue to believe that there's someone else out there like that. And you continue to see it ain't. So, you know, whether that was you or whether that was your person, it could have been the both of you. So you became guarded. With becoming guarded, you pushed it away. You pushed it off. They pushed it away. They pushed it off. Now this person is realizing, you know, but only after someone began to turn their back. Because nobody wants to feel like, they're being genuine and the other person doesn't believe it. Again, you're not going to want to force your way of believing, you know, your way of existing, your way of doing something on somebody. That's not how to go about it. You know, you don't have to convince somebody that you are a certain type of way. You just are that way. So this person is now starting to believe that, you know, that's that discernment. They didn't know what to think. You know, again, it's not too often when you come across somebody that genuinely is who and how they say they are. Okay. So, yes. Woo. All right. So that that is painful, you know, for you to be who and how you really are. People just, I mean, and it's because you have to understand people are not, they're not true. Ooh. okay. I had to pause you guys. But anyhow, so, you know, they're not true, okay? They're not true. And so, again, with the sacral chakra, this is willpower, Leo energy, throat chakra, okay? Speaking your truth, being honest, being authentic, living authentically, okay? So, realizing this is just an authentic person, and because of that, they deserve authenticity in return. They are true, therefore, they deserve the truth, Okay, so accelerated motion, this is communication. Now that I've revised, now that I've looked at everything, you know, I can go ahead and let you know how I'm feeling. What this is they're going to tell you is going to make you really, really happy. It's going to make you very happy. This could be something, again, that some of you have been waiting to hear from this person for a really long time. We have with them. Didn't I say that? Okay, they've gained the wisdom now. They, they have the wisdom and they have the courage to speak their heart. Because just because a person has a heart doesn't mean that they have heart. You understand what I'm saying? We all have hearts. They beating. Blood flowing from and to something. Okay. However, it's the principle that not everybody has heart. Some people's hearts have been hardened, y'all. Because of life. So in the event that you're one of the, the few lucky ones. That despite how your heart has been treated. Your heart is still soft and mushy. This reading is for you. You're who I'm talking about. You're, you're the one who's enlightened your person. And showed them that love is real. Harmony. That not everybody is fake. Not everybody's full of crap. You get what I'm saying? So you're sorry to make it sound so harsh, but I mean, sometimes you just have to rip the band-aid off. You got recognition and reward. Yes, yeah, you know, now they want to show you love and now they want to, you know. And with this arms folded here, for some of you, this person has their own, their arms folded in all of these photos. This person may still be in that in-between stage where their heart is hard still, but it's softening. And it's softening because they see that Oh, you're true. You're genuine. You're not full of crap. But you just look at it like, again, a tower. This is a tower. You look at it like, what is this? What even is this? You know, you come into me to express this love. You're giving me what it is that I say I want. 
but is it because you want it to or is it because you think that well you should have this since you're true and all you know like what exactly is going on you know you don't want no pity love right you want the person to be with you because that's what they want to do not because they feel bad about this and they realize and oh this really is my twin oh my gosh and i've treated them poorly let me come in and save the day. You know, you want them to, to really want it. Okay. Yeah, we got financial and material changes. I feel like otherwise you're going to block it out. You you know. Hey. Yeah, the world. You're just going to move forward. If this person. Because this is how I feel. Right? The way it's coming through. Temptation. You feel like this person. They want something because they cannot have something. And that's not good. Okay. Now, I made that be the case possibly not but that's how you feel about it we have ace of pentacles ten of pentacles this person wants to marry you and you're feeling like uh yes i said my heart felt like it shattered into a million pieces that's how it is because if that's the case i would understand why nine of pentacles you would rather just be single two of cups than to be with them you want to know that somebody is with you because they genuinely want to be with you not because Oh, yeah, you are you are a good person, you know, and I've treated you bad. Oh, my goodness, you know, or something like that. Because that feels like pity or something, you know. that don't. That's not a good feeling. That didn't feel good to my heart, okay? So I feel like that's the wisdom in the heart, yeah. It doesn't feel good to your heart, okay? This person's still coming to you with their arms folded, like, but they want to be there because they know that that's where spirit wants them to be. But it's like, is that where you want to be? You know, that type of thing. Mm. You know, that's where God wants you to be. But is that where you want to be? Mm. Okay. Let us see. Yeah. You don't want no little offers. Page of cups, four of cups. You don't want no little offers. Big cups only. Big offers only. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So let us see. Emperor. What is this Emperor card about? I don't know. I'm feeling Harry Potter, y'all. I'm feeling real Harry Potter tonight. All right. What is this Emperor card about? Emperor. Ma masculine. Knight of Cups. Woo! Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So, yeah. Brand new beginning. Brand new relationship. Two of Pentacles. Let's start over. Okay, let's start over. I want to be with you. I want to show you some love. Possibly take you out. Okay, Ten of Cups. You know, I want to start putting in more energy, more effort. Start, you know, showing up more. Okay, being more present so that you know that I'm for real about this. Ten of Cups. And it can lead to this Ten of Cups. You know, it doesn't have to go from us doing one to the other immediately. Excuse me. But the whole point is they want to be with this Empress. Double emphasis on that. Two divine feminine energies came out. So they definitely want to be with this Empress. Ten of Cups, that's what they want with you. When they think about you, they think family. They think long term. Okay. King of Pentacles, they want to provide. They want to take care of you. They want to show you. Yeah, this is their discernment on the situation, honey. King of Wands, they know they have to put some action in. Okay. They have to show you that they're serious. They can't just say it. Okay. Six of Swords, there may be space and distance between the two of you right now. But they want things to smooth out. Two of Wands, again, the person has to decide what it is they want. And then once they decide, they have to act. Okay? Otherwise, like I said, I feel a lot of you are just going to move on, move forward. Okay? We have the King of Cups. But they do love you. They are in love with you. So, again, their heart is softening. Okay? Yeah, we have the Three of Cups. Their heart is softening. They want to reunite. Okay? Again, with that friends. Okay? So, they want to be friends, but they want to be more than friends. You understand what I'm saying? It's like... You have to, I don't want to say you have to, but I just feel that is the best foundation for a long lasting relationship, a solid friendship, because that can't be broken. I want to know that even if this boat rock, we ain't nobody going to fall off. You know what I mean? That's the six of swords. I want to know that even if this boat rock, nobody going to fall off. All right. So that's where you're coming from. Again, you want ten of cups and the way that the empress is going to ride for her family, you need to know that this person going to be on the boat. You understand? So, yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant. But the both of you are on one accord when it comes to that. Okay? I just feel like this person is stubborn. 
you know there's a lot of Taurus energy that keeps coming up I feel like this person is stubborn because of the simple fact that yeah nine of wands yep 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 they're stubborn they want to make this offer to you they really know that it'll work they know they have to put work in okay but I also feel this energy here where they're just used to to being right and maybe you proved them wrong and even though this is a good proved them it's not like you said um Oh, I'm going to prove you wrong or, or you're trying to emasculate them or anything like that. But this person may just not be used to being wrong or something, you know, hard to explain. We got eight of cups, eight of cups is, you know, on a spiritual quest for what happiness, happiness starts from within, stems from within. Okay. I also feel like, you know, your masculine could have just overall been on a spiritual quest and then feeling something is missing. What's missing? My feminine. You know, Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, the Magician. So what are they aiming to do? Manifest you. Pull on your energy. Okay? Bring you back. Four of Pentacles. Hold on to you. Okay? Not let you go. Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay? Nine of Wands is you having this guard up against this King of Swords energy. They're very intellectual, very smart, so they understand why. Again, this is not somebody that's used to being wrong. Maybe somebody that's used to putting other people on to things. You don't put them on to something. You know, nine of pentacles, three of pentacles. But again, if you don't feel like this person is devoted or you don't feel like this is commitment you're getting from them, you'll love them. But you'll rather stay single than to deal with that. Again, we have a match. King and queen of cups. All right. Emperor, empress, king and queen of cups. Two very loving energies. I feel like this queen of cups has helped this masculine soften his heart and open his heart. We have a strength card. Again, they're going to come towards you very bold, very courageous. You know, speak their truth. All right. Be bold. Be honest. I'm in love. You know, that's what's here. Two of Pentacles. I want to invest more. I want to put more of me into this because I'm in love. You guys got the emperor and the empress. Not once, but twice. Okay. These things should tell you something. This person is serious. Okay. They're very very serious here okay not joking with you at all so let us see what we got what's the underlining here right now we have the death card in reverse again with that pluto somebody just may be um like i said stubborn mm -hmm. you know for this to be like rebirth change and then the world 10th house okay so accomplishments achievements Let's say this person started something, okay? Again, they would have to cut something. Let's say this person started something somewhere with someone, okay, whatever. It didn't work or it's not working. In the event that they were to walk away from this situation, they would feel like a failure or they would feel like, you know, it's almost like a person starts school for something and they don't complete the program. But you're more worried about, you know, the first house, how other people are going to see you and what they think as opposed to what you're going to see and think about yourself. So it's something like that going on where they have to look beyond what other people are going to think and feel and focus on what they think and feel. Yeah, Ten of Wands, because they're carrying around the stress and the burden of what other people think instead of just doing what they want to do to be happy. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so Page of Swords is curiosity. Ace of Swords is that's the truth and, you know, them coming through and expressing it. Honestly, okay. We have the Ace of Wands, all right? This is like a breakthrough. Breakthrough suddenly happens here, all right? Breakthrough suddenly takes place and you move forward with your person. Strength card, they're finally strong enough, courageous enough, bold enough to speak up, stand up, stay what it is that they want to do, all right? Stop hiding their true feelings. They want to have a brand new beginning with you and they're in love. Seven of Wands, they want to stand up and fight for it. They don't want to back down. They feel like that will be, you know, what they regret in the event that they were to let this go because they just didn't fight for it. Didn't stand up and let you know they cared that much. No. So it says the signs that I'm getting from the universe. Let me know that our story is nowhere near complete. Okay. I have been getting signs. I know who you are to me. Let's explore this connection. Didn't I say that? Now, this is like the fourth reading in a row where signs have been mentioned. Okay. Back to back. Okay. The closer we get, the more I want to explore every inch of you. Will you open yourself up to slash for me? Okay. In a world of uncertainty, you'll be my stone. You see? Can't trust nobody, but they know they can trust you. 
okay? You and I will be together again soon. Do you believe me? Okay. Your lips are so soft. I want to kiss you. Can I? Spirit said it also goes the other way. You feel like you can't trust nobody, but you know you can trust them. Okay. It's been proven both ways. All right. I try my hardest not to sexualize and or romanticize this connection. But with you, vulnerability trumps self-control and logic. Do you see? So again, you open this person's heart. They could have had a hardened heart. You know, everything they did in life had nothing to do with feelings and emotions. And then you come along and now you got them straight tripping, boo. You got them all distorted. All right. I apologize for any pain that you may feel during this separation. I will make up for this, even if it's the last thing that I do. Okay. Even if it's the last thing that I do. Who would have known you live up to the hype? Do you see what I'm saying? You are so beautiful. It is unlike any other thing in this world. Do you understand what I'm saying? When a person tells you, you know, this is who I am, or they just present themselves to the world that way, and then they actually are that, do you understand how rare that is? Nowadays, everybody is flexing and fronting and pretending and catfishing and ghosting and whatever, capping and whatever else, okay? So when a person is genuinely who they are for real, like what you see is what you get at all, that's them for real. It's like seeing a um, endangered species or something. That's how this person feels right now. And genuinely, that's how it is. That's how it is. Okay. <laughs> it says, with you, I know I can grow. That tells me everything I need to know. Okay. Not just taking on the responsibilities and obligations and weight of everybody else, but actually being with somebody who handles their own responsibilities and obligations and doesn't throw their weight around. So now I can actually be free to be happy with it, to do the things that make me happy as an individual, because that person is doing those things for themselves. And then two happy people come together as whole, complete individuals able to share that love and joy with each other. All right. So underlying energy is, are you willing to relocate for me? My family is everything to me. And so are you. All right. So this person may want for you to relocate. <clears throat> Again, like I said, the two of you may be at a distance from each other. We have help and we have reunion. All right. So this person may want to speak to you because they want your help with coming up with a plan to how the two of you can reunite. You know, let's work together on this plan. Three of Pentacles. Because I don't want you to think that it's not what I want. Let me work with you. Okay. Yeah, burden of tears. Didn't I say that? They're carrying around the burdens of everybody else. This person has been crying. Okay. And I understand that some men have, you know, this discomfort with expressing their truth. Because men cry too, y'all. But this man is, is crying right now. Okay. Mirror effect. You could be crying too. All right. That's why I said my heart hurts so bad this whole reading. I'm sure you can hear it, okay? It hurts terribly because of the energy that's coming through. Whew. All right, we have karma, all right? Yeah, somebody could have been in a karmic energy or dealing with a karmic energy. They had to release it. We have message of warning, okay? Yeah, message of warning, all right? What you put out there comes back. We have reproach, yeah. So somebody, you know, it's like they treated you like you were unreal, and now that they're coming to you with their true feelings and emotions, you don't believe them and you think they're lying. And, you know, it's like it's the karma, you know, soon you'll see the truth, though. You'll see everything for what it is. Yeah, see physical pain. Somebody's heart is in physical pain right now. It's turning into anger. OK, respect. They respect you so much, but it's like they're angry because they feel like they brought this upon themselves based on, you know, thinking that you were false or thinking that this was false or something. All right. Let me see this, um, which is five of pentacles energy in the world. Okay. Let me see. What is this? All right. Queen of wands. Yeah, this is you. You didn't block them out because you don't know if you can trust them. This person is coming to you, giving the truth and you don't know if you can trust them. Just like how they treated you. They treated you like they didn't know if they could trust you. They didn't know if this was real. And now you're looking at them the same way through the same lens. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. They feel like they may have sabotaged this or they may have messed it up. Now, is that necessarily the case? Mm, 
that's up to you to decide. This is your love story, right? You have free will choice, but you see what it is that they would like with you. All right. So I pray that this helps you. I know that it will. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and high grace. Thank you.